know a ton of white people that are as lazy and sorry and and probably worse than black people I know. Marjorie Green managed to insult financially struggling Americans and all black people in one fell swoop. Probably the only thing that she's managed to accomplish. <laughs> now that video is making its rounds even though it was pretty much an older video. She filmed it somewhere between 2017 and 2020. But it's getting a lot more attention now because Patriot Takes on Twitter has brought it back up. And so, um, she was responding to a New York Times piece. It was an editorial that was published in 2017 titled, Can My Children Be Friends with White People? It was written by a law professor and analyzed, and the law professor analyzed the complicated relationship between white and black Americans, which I don't think needs to be that complicated to be quite frank with you. But nonetheless, let's hear more from Marjorie Green and what she had to say. He says, likewise, despite centuries of exclusion and robust evidence of continuing racism, minority underemployment is often couched in the language of bad choices and personal responsibility. I gotta tell you, anybody's unemployment has to do with bad choices and personal responsibility. And again, that does not have a skin color. I know a ton of white people that are as lazy and sorry and, and, probably worse than black people I know. And I would not hire them because they're lazy and they're sorry and they're pathetic. And that has everything to do with their bad choices and their personal responsibility. That is not a skin color issue either, that's a people issue. You know what, I mean, there is something she's saying there that is worth really investigating here because I can think of at least one white person who's incredibly lazy incredibly useless and admitted as much candidly recently. Let's watch. The nature of this job, it keeps members of Congress and senators in Washington so much of the time, uh, too much of the time to be honest with you, that, that we don't get to go home and spend more time with our families, our friends, um, and, you know, all in our district or maybe just be regular people because this job is so demanding and it's turned into practically year round and, and for those of us in the House of Representatives, we have to run for Congress every two years. So you're practically campaigning nearly the entire time that you're here serving as a representative. It's not a life that I think is, is like um, something that I enjoy uh, because I don't enjoy it, but I'm committed to this job because I believe in it. Can you believe it? Being a United States Congresswoman is a year round job? Yeah, do, what? Any of, do any of you guys have a job out there that is so demanding that it's year round? <laughs> My God. Isn't that all of our jobs? It, guys, it's a psychological phenomenon called projection, okay? And she should really look into it. She's like, can you believe they're making me work over here? I thought I was just gonna do podcasts and weirdo <laughs> racist you know, videos online. And, I can't and now hang I have to show up to work at all year. I can't hang out with my friends? <laughs> okay. What? By the way, where are you on paid family leave, Marjorie Green? Paid family leave, meaning woman goes through the physical and emotional trauma of delivering a baby and gets no mandatory paid time off in this country. Where are you on that issue? I yeah. want to hear from you on that. Yeah, she's like, I, you know, I don't get to spend enough time with my family. Which family? Anyways, um, okay. So, <laughs> but back to the main issue here. Two things. Uh, number one, look at how she views anyone who's poor. Yep. Okay. Yep. And on this one, it's true that race doesn't matter. She said anyone who's unemployed is. I forget the exact words she used, but you can rewind the tape and say, like, basically lazy, pathetic. She and said pathetic. pathetic. Anyone who's unemployed? How about all the people that were fired at the beginning of COVID? How about They're all, the all lazy? They all millions of them got fired at the same time because millions of them decided to be lazy at the same time. What about the 2008 economic collapse and all the people who got laid off and lost their jobs th through no fault of their own? By as the way, a the bankers, the bankers who she readily supports. Yep. All, all this populist garbage. She doesn't mean a word of it. 
Oh yeah, I like guns, and I, I you know, I, I'm not big on the minorities and America first. But give the bankers everything. Give them all. But you people that the bankers got fired, you're pathetic. Okay, so understand who she is. She's just a wolf in sheep's clothing of, of, of pretending to be a populist. So supporting the rich two thousand percent. She also had some strong feelings about how black Americans should feel about Confederate statues. So um, unfortunately, we're gonna hear her thoughts on that. Let's watch. I don't think you remove or erase history. So I do, I do agree those statues shouldn't be taken down. They're part of our history. We should learn from our history, we don't erase it. But that doesn't make me a racist because I, because I say leave the statue up there. If I were black people today and I walked by one of those statues, I would be so proud because I'd say, look how far I have come in this country. Look how far my people have, what they have overcome. Listen, if you thought that was an incredibly ignorant statement, you would be correct. And I have further proof of her ignorance because um, she loves to celebrate statues, right? Um, including a statue that, um, well, she thought it was a Confederate statue. So let's go to this graphic. She took a picture. Uh, tonight, I stopped at the Wilder Monument in Chickamauga, uh, Georgia, which honors the Confederate soldiers of the Wilder Brigade. I will always defend our nation's history. Except, I know this is super inconvenient, but uh, John T. Wilder was a Union colonel who commanded the much feared Lightning Brigade during several southern campaigns of the US Civil War. Oops, I wonder if she then instantly became less proud. <laughs> oh, That was an American, sorry, I didn't mean to praise an American. I meant to praise the people who, are betray who betrayed America. Right. So let's break down the racial stuff now. Number one on the statues, can you imagine if they left up the Nazi general's statues in Germany? And then we told- And then said to Jews, right. you should be really proud to still have Nazi generals staring down at you that we celebrate in the public sphere by putting up these giant statues of them like they're heroes. That's celebrated by local government. Look, that's the difference. If this is really about history, put the statues in a museum somewhere and call it a day. But putting those statues, like the municipal government, the local government, erecting those statues to celebrate Confederate soldiers and essentially send a message to black residents of these towns. I mean, you know what it's really about. It's not about history. And not only that, they put a lot of them up, not after the Civil War, but during the Civil Rights era to right. say, hey, remember who's still in charge here. And you're supposed to be proud walking by that? Hell no. Um, I love one of our contributors on Rebel Headquarters, Mondale Robinson. He's a mayor in a small town in North Carolina. Uh, and and he regulated on one of those statues, okay? He's like, no, this is our town and we're not gonna have this th crap up here, okay? So look, back to the original uh, racial comment. A lot of right-wingers will listen to her going, no, look, it's not about skin color. Some white people I know are just as bad as terrible black people and think that they, she's genuinely not being racist. She said some white people were probably worse than black people I know. Probably, she's like the worst white people I know are probably worse than all the black people I know, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but they they don't they genuinely don't see it, guys. That is racist. You're assuming that all black people are terrible, and even though in your mind, in your mind, the lowest, most pathetic white people might or might not be as bad as all black people. Can you please, can you see how that's obviously racist? It's amazing that they can't see it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air, so all that all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.